Let me tell you, dropping your toddler for their second day of daycare after they have already told you they love it is a whole lot easier than the first day. Um, so yeah, that went smoothly for everyone. And now I am grabbing coffee because that's a necessity for me. It's my lifeblood. And then we're going to go to the feed store because the turkeys are currently going through a bag of feed a day. Thank God they go to the butcher on Friday. And then we're going to go to Peggy's because Peggy is taking my steer to the butcher on Friday in her trailer, but her trailer is currently filled with a bunch of wood and stuff. So I'm going to go help her by emptying that because she's as much of a one woman show as I am and she's too busy and I have the time. So Harper and I are going to go and do that. And then after that, we're going to go home and make sure that the loading zone for the steer that's going to the butcher is ready to go. So that's the plan. Come along. job done. It's almost nap time. I'm going to take my baby home, get her to nap, and then I can take a look and see what needs to be done to prepare for loading a steer tomorrow. Let's head on home. My busy baby fell asleep. Nap time. All right, guys. So now it's just you and me. Baby's in bed and chores still need to be done and then I can get started on the loading zone for the cow. So, let's get started. You can come with me. Since it's just you and I, I'll take a little bit of time to introduce you to the animals and give a little bit more information for those of you that are just joining me and getting to know our farm. And uh, yeah, come on with me. Play. Can you say hello to everybody? Oh, you This is only for belly rubs. Only for belly rubs. Hey. What are they barking at? Oh, well, that would be a cow that's out. I don't know how that happened, but he's going to need to actually come down here. Do I have more than one? Luckily, that's the cow that's going to the butcher tomorrow. So I'm going to go deal with that. I got my cane. So, year one, anytime a cow is out, just talk about breakdown. I would just break down and be like, oh God, my life. Now, I'm not even worried. Like, I'm like, it's Gary. He does this once a week. I just opened a door for you. You can go in the barn. Go on in. Go in and throw. Yeah. Oh. 
And that is why. I don't even... <sighs> I've worked so hard on the fence line and I know it's working and I know it's solid. And somehow that cow still gets out and it is so frustrating. Anyways. <sighs> okay, so in this batch here in my front yard, I have my next batch of 40 meat birds. They are currently seven weeks old. They are booked to go to the butcher a week after my turkeys this Friday. However, I'm gonna wait and see. I would like them to be larger than my last few rounds, so I may push them a week. We're gonna just wait and see. And they are already sold, so that is a bonus. And then they're in here with turkeys, which I think are probably eight weeks old. I grow mine out to about 18 weeks, so this batch will be ready for Christmas. Um, so that's the goal. They've just hit the grass, like free ranging. They were inside of a chicken tractor up until this week. Um, and then the meat birds have been on grass. That round actually has been on grass since I brought them home because it's so much warmer when they were chicks. So they are looking good, but I still, like I said, I want them to be nice and big. So we're gonna just keep an eye on them for the next week or so. Yeah, so they need water and they need food. Let's go do that. So the turkeys that you see here, they are set to go to the butcher this Friday, so in two days. And I believe they will be 17 weeks. Uh, so I'm hoping they'll be anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds, probably closer to 15. Um, but yeah, they, I think I have 13 of them left. Turkeys are definitely harder to keep alive at a younger age, but once they hit a, like about the eight week point, they're very hardy. I like to free range them, but they've been scaring the kids, so I did put them in with the geese. And I've just been moving them around more often because they're really great bug and like uh, like bug destroyers, and I like to use them as tick defense, which is why I kind of move them around my yard. So yeah. And I must say, once you have tasted pasture-raised turkey grown on like a, a small farm that's put the extra love and care in that we do, you'll never go back. There's just no comparison. It's the, it's one of my favorite meats. It's why I will raise them every year, if for nobody else than just for our family. And we usually keep about five or six of them because we like to do them for like birthdays and stuff. It's always nice to have a turkey for a special occasion. And if I could only eat one food for the rest of my life, it would be stuffing. So there you go. <laughs> They're definitely ready for a Thanksgiving dinner though, so. Butcher, Friday. Catch it here. All right, and you guys are here for the first move for these new little baby chicks. You saw me bring them out yesterday for the first time ever to grass. I did put heat lamps over them because it still gets super cold at night, so overnight they get the heat lamps. But um, for the rest of the time, they just free range on the grass and I move them every day. So I'm gonna move them for the first time ever, which is the most dangerous, because they don't yet know to move with the tractor. And so I have to be extra careful of squishing the birds as they move. So, if you guys can help me, let me know if I'm gonna run any of the babies over, okay? Because I can't see them. It's a flawed design in my tractor. Let's move together. I'm a new one. Oh, do they usually let me know? 
know, but think. Okay. Good job. I think they did great. I think you guys did even better. Thank you so much. All right. left I have three breeding does and a buck and I also have one very small one that I didn't want to send to the butcher three weeks ago when the rest of my rabbits went so at this time they're all in cages that I move daily to fresh grass a lot like a tractor design I do have a couple tractors that I'm quite proud of that I made myself but as a really busy farm mom I haven't got around to making these fancy tractors for all of them so I'm using what I've got as far as other cages for all the bunnies. And in a few weeks, my goal is, if you guys have been watching, you know, my goal is to have them go up to the barn and live in a colony style for the winter. So that's the goal. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move them and get them to fresh grass now and I'll give them fresh water and food too. to go and inspect the loading zone for Gary for tomorrow. So I'm gonna feed the cows their grain over there today and so that they expect that that's where they're gonna be fed tomorrow. And I hope to call them all over and then lock Gary in there and get the others all out, so. I don't know, I'm new to this whole thing. Come on with me. super nervous about loading Gary tomorrow because he's like he's the most leery he's like why is this happening and while you can see that he is short he is beefy so and I'm just done with his shenanigans good cows yeah good girl Thelma I have a single gate that's not being used. <laughs> so you're gonna need to bring me a gate or two. When people are like, how did you lose all that weight? Because I have to do crap like this all the time. Sometimes with a baby. So there you go. Okay. And do I sometimes choose the hardest way to do things? Yes, yes, very much I do. Do I want your advice on how to do it more easily? No, no, thank you very much. I do not.
just noticed that the farmer from up the road is at the pasture next to us doing hay and he's who I got my other hay from and I want to see if I can get some straw from him so we're gonna just run over up the road and see if I can speak to him because I don't have his phone number and it's easier to just walk let's go If you're my husband, this didn't happen. Dinner is done and the toddler's home from daycare and dad is giving her a bath and I'm gonna go out and see what I can get done to that loading zone while it's still light enough to do that and that's my day and tomorrow and the next day are what's actually gonna be my busy days of the week so that's this is just how my life goes there he is Hey bud, you're going to be loaded from here tomorrow. Can you cooperate? 